The coffee table I originally made for the outdoor porch I moved inside. So I made a new slab coffee table and it turned out great. Let's go through how I made it. Now I'm always on the lookout for free wood. And with my 97 Honda and some roller conveyor, I can handle about anything. It just so happens, while driving back from the flea market one day, I came upon a freshly cut hickory tree and acquired some precious cargo. The next day, on the same street, I purchased an amazing oak slab for $30 at a garage sale. It had been sitting for about three years. It was too wide to get down the stairs with my two-wheeler, so I just carried it. The slab was a little warped, but in good shape. I sanded and carved out the largest saw marks, and then I epoxied the biggest cracks. Finally, I drilled four holes for the dowels that will connect the top to the hickory base. You're gonna see a few extra people popping into and out of the video. They were filming a choppumentary on me as part of our cat footwear partnership. Stay tuned at the end of this video and you'll see it. I cut the hickory to length, removed the bark, and then drilled the holes to match the dowels for the oak top. Finally, I connect the top and bottom together. One point I want to highlight about the hickory base is that it's still full of moisture and it needs to come out. Ideally, I would have used a piece that was fully dried, but in this case, I'm willing to take the chance because this will be sitting outside. This will result in significant cracking, which for this table, I don't care about. I put the base up on a couple of scraps of wood and the top slab did not match perfectly with the base. So these air gaps give a place for the end grain moisture to escape. I coated the top slab with three coats of outdoor oil, which protects against UV damage, but more importantly, prevents mildew. The top slab had been drying for three years, so I wasn't worried about cracking or moisture. Moose, come here. No, here. There you go. You ready? Yes. That is amazing. Again, you did the epoxy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not very sparkly, but. I like it. that. I like this. Moose, come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. It's the potential. Just love the potential of that piece of wood. I mean, I can turn it into a bowl, piece of furniture. You can turn that piece of wood into anything you want. I'm Chop with Chris, and I'm an earth mover. I don't do things the way everyone else does them. I do them in ways most people don't even want to try. I like to get back to the basics. I use my hands and hand tools I pick up at the flea market to create things using no electrical power tools. The more basic the hand tool, the better. It doesn't really matter how big or complex the project is. I enjoy the challenge of figuring it out. I'm part of a community on YouTube of makers. I started this YouTube channel just for fun, but as my channel has grown, my focus has really changed over time. Initially, it was just doing high-speed videos. And then people were like, hey, Chris, it's great that you can do this, but could you please show me how you did that? I've really shifted to education videos and now charity projects, videos that can help give back. When I do a project, I'll sometimes work for 12 hours straight. 
I'm on my feet the whole time. I don't want to have to worry about my boots. It's important my boots keep me safe. I'm putting a lot of abuse on my shoes. They've been through thick and thin. I get so much joy out of making things for my family. Quality time with my family, it's the most important thing in my life. It's so rewarding when you can make something yourself. It, it just feels like it's a part of you. But I have the opportunity to use my channel and woodworking to spread love and compassion, hard work and determination. And that's really all you need to be successful in this world. I hope you enjoyed this project and the cat footwear chopumentary. I thought they did an amazing job. Please subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at chopwithchris so you don't miss out on any of my future projects. Thank you.